Hello everyone, welcome to scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the general surgery course. We'll be talking about liver infections. Obviously, infection can, can be acute and the chronic, chronic infections. We already talk about the chronic conditions of the liver and now today we'll be talking more precisely about the acute conditions which are affecting the liver. So let's have the outline of today's lecture. We'll be talking about sending cholangitis, which is actually a kind of the acute inflammatory process because uh, because of the obstruction of this of the stone in the common bowel duct. We'll be talking about a little bit anatomy of uh, how actually the common bowel duct is being made and how the stone comes all the way to the common bowel duct and how the stasis of the bilirubin or how the stasis of the bowel would be causing uh, the obstructive symptoms which are particularly called as ascending cholangitis. We'll be talking about the features of the ascending cholangitis, which are actually uh, the features which are related to the charcot triad. So we'll be uh, talking more precisely about the clinical jaundice, fever, and the right of recorded pain, which actually makes the charcot triad. We'll be talking about the clinical significance of this triad. Then, obviously, we'll be talking about the significance of history, the clinical examination and they put in diagnostic investigations, starting from the baseline investigations and making up a clear diagnosis by the help of ultrasonography and computed uh, tomography. We'll be talking in detail about that. We'll be talking about the role of the blood culture in case of the sending cholangitis. Then we'll be talking about the conservative treatment, the role of the antibiotics, the role of the hydration therapy, and then uh, some kind of of intervention like the endoscopic stenting or we'll be talking about the percutaneous drainage. We'll be talking about different abscesses which are being formed within the liver up on the background of sepsis or appendicitis or diverticulitis. We'll be talking about the pyogenic liver abscess. We'll be talking about the causative organisms and the relationship of the pyogenic liver abscess with the overall uh, septicemia, appendicitis, diverticulitis, and uh, the role of the immunosuppressive therapies or the significance of being diabetic or immunosuppressive. We'll be talking about the treatment lines for the pyogenic liver abscesses. We'll be talking about what kind of the first line antibiotics would be uh, using, what is the role of the broad spectrum antibiotic, what a gram negative cover or anaerobic cover we should be uh, giving to these patients. We'll be talking about the ultrasound guided aspiration and then we'll be talking about the percutaneous uh, drainage uh, for the pyogenic liver abscesses. The another, another important and the common uh, uh, cause of the liver abscess is the amoebic liver abscess, and especially those patients which are, uh, you, you know, traveling abroad or to, to the tropical countries, they actually develop the amoebic liver abscess. So amoebiosis can be in the form of the dysentery or in the form of the amoebic liver abscess. We'll be talking about uh, the root of the transmission, and we'll be talking about the treatment and the management options we have available for the amoebic liver abscess. Then at the end, more comprehensively, we'll be talking about the high data liver disease, we'll be talking about the kind of coccus granulosis, we'll be talking about the root of the transmission and uh, actually what happens uh, when the ovo or the trophocyte sits in the liver and uh, what is the clinical implication of the high data liver disease. How you are actually going to treat those uh, cysts which are uh, you know, residing in the liver, how you're going to do the aspiration of such cyst, and what is the role of the hypertonic cell line, we'll be discussing uh, in detail in the le next lecture. We'll be talking more precisely about the uh, liver resection and the surgical treatment, which are actually comprising of the local resection of the cyst, the de-roofing and marsupialization, and obviously the role of the 
you know, soaking the peritoneal cavity with a hypertonic saline, what would be the role, definitive role uh, in case of the surgical treatment. So we have other lectures on our site, which is cardia.com. You can go there, get access, and enjoy our lectures. With the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com with Dr. Sanaka.